Hi, I'm Lorenzo from the Ango team at iMerit. In this video, I want to show you how you can integrate your own or a third-party text-to-image generative AI model to Ango Hub, our data solutions platform, and then use our platform to rate and evaluate the images your model created so that you can train and fine-tune your text-to-image model directly using Ango Hub. So first of all, we'll integrate our generative model to AngHub by creating a plugin, which is completely free and only takes a few clicks on our interface. We only need to uh, create a plugin here on the UI and then create a very small Python script to bind together the model and the plugin. We can also use third-party models. For example, in this case, I'll be using the Dolly API from OpenAI to generate the images, but uh, whether you run your own model or a third-party model, the behavior will be exactly the same. Next, we need to create a workflow, and workflow is our no-code solution to creating complex data labeling pipelines, including, if necessary, labeling, review, logical stages, and more. In this case, I've set it up so that I provide Dolly with prompts, and it'll generate images from these prompts. Then the annotator opens the generated image and rates it. If, between 1 and 5, the image is rated lower than 4, I set it up so that Hub sends it back to Dolly again for regeneration, and it'll be shown to the annotator again. Uh, each of the dark blue boxes here represents me calling the Dolly plugin. So your model will directly be integrated in the data labeling pipeline. So I've uploaded a few prompts to my project, and as soon as I did that, Dolly got to work generating the images. So as a labeler, I'm logging into AngHub and clicking on Start Labeling. Now, I'll only show you three prompts to be quick. Now, in this case, from on the left-hand side, we can see the prompt, so a photo of a hand holding a smartphone. On the right-hand side, we can see the result of the generative AI model. And on the left-hand side, we can see the questions that we're asking the annotators. Now, these questions are fully customizable, and as a project manager, you can decide exactly what the annotators will see on the screen. So in this case, I'm asking the annotator to uh, rate the output from 1 to 5. If it's below 4, we will send it for regeneration. Uh, add a comment if necessary, and they can mark whether or not there's an issue with the prompt, as well as any other fields you might want. Now, in this case, the colors of the hand are, are a bit off. It looks like the, the hand has some uh, artifacts, so I would rate it maybe a 2 out of 5 and submit. So what this will do, according to the rules that we've set up, is uh, we've just sent it to regeneration. So uh, as we speak in the background, as the annotators perform their work, AngoHub is sending that the prompt back to Dolly, regenerating that and putting it back into the labeling queue. So the annotator moves on to the second prompt, for example, which is a, a perfectly fine a photo of a, of a house and rate it five out of five and submit. And then they can see the last prompt after this one. So again, the photo of a hand holding a smartphone, which has been regenerated and sent back now, in this case, again, the number of fingers is wrong. So for example, here we could rate it a one and send it again for regeneration. And this can go on and on until you get a result that you're happy with, for example. So here we have a very good image, a photo of a horse running up a hill, for example, something that Dolly is quite good at. So we can rate it a five out of five. And if Dolly has already generated the uh, smartphone image again, Angle Hub will show it to us. Otherwise, it will not. It looks like it did and it got generated again. In this case, it's much, much better. It looks perfect. So I can rate it a five out of five, submit it, and the project is done. So this was a very brief overview of how you can integrate text to image generative AI models directly to AngoHub, uh, fine tune, train them, evaluate, and ask anything you need from the human in the loop. Uh, all of these data, so all of the images that were generated, as well as all of the answers given by the annotators are then stored in a JSON file, which you can very easily download by uh, clicking on export. And you can then use this file, use this JSON data to then train your own model, fine tune it, or uh, sort of do anything that you need with that data. So I hope this was useful. Please visit imerit.net for more and see you the next time.